Okay, today at Flounder's Mind Thoughts, we have a world exclusive. Yes, it's the international debut of the Hero 616 Jumbo Vacumatic. <laughs> now, the first thing you'll be wondering is, well, what's, what's this nonsense here? Well, that is blue tack. It's for the purposes of this wee demonstration. Uh, I'm hoping to only temporarily seal that barrel so we can take it apart and measure the uh, ink capacity on this. It's rather faded 3mm syringe. So, I suppose the first thing to do is pop this camera down and remove the blind cap. We've got a proper blind cap this time round compared to the old uh, button filler modification. And uh, We'll introduce the pen to this this water supply. I'm using water instead of ink here, uh, just so I can hopefully show the the bubbles forming against this uh, this blue background. So the nib goes in, try and get everything in shot, and I can start pumping away on this this plunger here. But can you see if I can focus properly the the bubbles forming down here? Oh, yeah, that's not bad, that's pretty sharp. So every stroke on this plunger expels a tiny amount of air and a tiny amount of ink gets drawn up to replace it. Now this does take longer than the old, uh, the old button filler arrangement. But it easily holds twice the ink, literally twice the ink capacity on this. And it's, it's easier to build and it's more fun to do as well. Now if you've got a real Parker Vacuumatic incidentally, you'll be possibly looking askance at these tiny wee bubbles. And that's because this is a home built filler. It's nowhere near as efficient as the genuine article. But it does work and um, this was quite a fun modification to do. I'm not sure, now that this is completed, I'm not sure what my next, uh, well next try my hand at maybe. Drop me a line in the comments box if you'd like to see something. I was thinking possibly a, a simple syringe filler or something, I don't know. Well I think that's us. I don't see any more bubbles coming out when I work in this plunger. Now I am aware that once it's full you're supposed to uh, hold this down, the plunger, and then pull it out of the ink so that the collector doesn't flood, but really I just, I'm curious to see the, the maximum capacity I can get out of this. I'll be disappointed if I don't get at least 1.5 <laughs> Take the trouble to do this video, right? Here's a, an empty beaker. We can dump the uh, whatever this has picked up, we can dump it in here. Gives my wee thumb a rest, too. So, if I pop the camera down again, I can peel away our temporary barrel seal. is rather fetching ink window. A lot of people think this is a waste of time, the ink window in these. I don't. Um, I know it's, it's positioned in a funny way and it's, it's quite narrow, but if you look at it compared to the collector on these pens, what the job of this ink window is to tell you really when the barrel's empty of ink. It's like the, uh, the reserve light, the fuel reserve light on your car. It doesn't mean there's no ink left at all. You know, you've still got five miles to drive, five liters to drive about in the motor. It's the same with these these collectors on the six one six jumbo. They're the real deal. I mean, these hold a lot of ink. Not a pen for drying out the six one six jumbo. They really are excellent for that. Anyway, I digress. Let's put that off to one side. See about measuring the ink capacity here. This will be a wee tricky exercise. I'll. 
take that apart, leave the barrel over here for now and try and dump whatever's in the collector in the section. First of all, I reckon that's pretty much it. I'm not doing this all day. And the next thing, check the barrel. Can you, I'm not sure if you can see the water in there. Let's uh, try and dump it in here anywho. Pop that off to one side. If it doesn't roll off the table top, eh? Uh, there's, that's not bad. See if I can get it all in one place and try and measure it out with a syringe. Now, I have no idea if you can see this or not because I'm not looking through the camera at this stage. <laughs> but let's try and drop all the inkness there. Now, that's it, that's all of it. So how did we do? The answer is not bad. Yeah, one and a half millimetres. I'm quite pleased with that. I always find it, incidentally, I always find it quite strange that when you see the likes of a, the Parker 51 outfitted with these vacuumatics, they usually come with these very fine nibs. And with a capacity like that, one and a half millimetres doesn't sound too hot on its own, but really with a fountain pen, that'll write forever on that. I'm surprised given that they had such a large volume capacity in them, they, they were fitting them mostly with fine nibs. But there you go, it's one of those wee idiosyncrasies of life. And there you have it. It's, uh, it's been a lot of fun to build. I certainly enjoyed myself, and if you fancy a go yourself, I've, uh, I've put a wee link down there. <laughs> down there under the video description. Is a link onto my blog. It's got step-by-step -step photographs and a couple of uh, YouTube clips showing how to make one of these yourself. Very cheap pens. Um, off the top of my head I think they're about £2.70 per unit and uh, the conversion itself did do maybe four or five pounds 